in America, check out the latest way to get closer to God. All right, they love Jesus and they're not afraid to show it in a very interesting way. These church-going women are embracing the dance moves once reserved for strip clubs. It's called Pole Fitness for Jesus. <laughs> pole Fitness for Jesus. No wonder he rose again. <laughs> Thanks very much. Thanks very much. <laughs> to be honest, lap dancing would make a lot more people go to church. We are gathered here today to worship our Lord and Saviour. Before that, Cristal is going to dry hump a pole. <laughs> the workout is set to Christian music, and class scores say it brings him closer to God. Brings him closer to God. Makes it sound like he's in heaven going, work that ass, baby. <laughs> That's why I made it that way. <laughs> In fairness, they're not the first people touched by our Lord. What's happening right now? Right now. Uh, there, a hand. Is it burning or, or just a hand? Just feel it. You think it's Jesus? <laughs> yeah. Boom! Bob. Finish it, Lord! Thanks, Jesus. That's what I call a second coming. <laughs> Over in the Czech Republic, there's been an exciting archaeological discovery. Archaeologists in the Czech Republic claim they have discovered what might just be the world's first known gay caveman. Or, as the sun delicately put it, I'm the Stone Age gay in the village. <laughs> A gay caveman. What next? A lesbian dinosaur. Behold! The Lickosaurus! <laughs> <laughs> I love KD Lang. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if they discovered the gay caveman on Time Team? Look, Tony, these guys were buried fighting. That's no fight. <laughs> the best thing about this story, he wasn't alone. He was actually buried with three of his mates. <laughs> Next over to the wonderful country that is Australia. Last week I showed you a bloke who took his parrot for a ride on his car. This week, check out what their finest scientists are working on. It's been challenging mankind since we were first blasted off. Can humans drink beer in space? <laughs> I'm only going to the moon if I can get shit-faced. <laughs> To be honest, I think drinking in space is madness. The last thing you want when you meet bizarre intergalactic creatures are beer goggles. She's all right. Dave, she looks like Shrek's bellend. <laughs> drinking in space would really have changed Star Wars. Imagine Han Solo pissed. Chewy, you look like a 70s minge. <laughs> Just Luke Skywalker clutching a bottle of vodka. I can't believe I tried to fuck my sister.